Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mero and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And this has been a long time coming since I've had these products in my house for a long time. I'm actually using most of them already. And I kind of sort of forgot to make a product <laughs> review. So please forgive me for this very late print on me and printful bags review. Now Printful definitely has a lot of bags, including the overall pouch that I've already reviewed in this channel. But I do have here with me three other Printful bags to share with you guys, show you their quality, and maybe even give you some ideas to design these products, whether on Printful, integrating them with your own Shopify, Etsy, or WooCommerce stores, or even on marketplaces such as Redbubble, Society6, TeePublic, and every marketplace that sells bags. And those three bags are an all-over print backpack, a tote bag, well, the all-over print large tote bag, and a laptop sleeve. Let's start with the first one, which is the one I've been using the longest and I really do like, which is the all-over print large tote bag. Now at a price of almost 18 euros with 4 euro shipping, we have the all-over tote bag, which is 16 by 20 inch in size and has three different colors that you can choose for the handle of the tote bag, which is black, golden, and red. As I wanted to have a very colorful print on the tote bag, I chose the black tote hand color. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember the video I did where I took uh, boring clip art from Canva and brought it to life, or, you know, my llama video. But this llama has a tote bag, and it is huge. It's uh, pretty big and it's super solid. When I got it, I was super surprised because I don't know if you guys remember, one of my first videos was about the Redbubble products and this is the Redbubble tote bag, which definitely had really good colors and looks good even one year after. But when I got this one, which is super firm, you can also see the stitching here on the side. It allows you to carry things more firmly. I even carry my laptop inside this and my coccyx wedge pillow that I have to carry around with me everywhere to be able to sit down. And I do love it. One of the things that I love most about this bag is the fact that you can design both sides to be different, even though I wanted them to be the same. And you can also design the inner pocket, which I wrote no problema in. It doesn't have a zipper, but it is kind of cute and very, very firm. It is a very huge tote bag. I think the only problem I would have with it is the fact that this is here. So it's kind of very flimsy. I would have probably preferred for the pocket to be lower inside and connected here instead of to the seam up top. But it is definitely top quality and I've used it in so many cases. Uh, it definitely can hold a lot of weight and it is huge. I think it's the biggest tote bag in print on demand. I'm not sure, but it is rather adorable, especially with my llama. The next bag that I have here for you guys is my laptop sleeve, which costs 16 and a half euros and six euro shipping to Bulgaria. Obviously you guys, if you're seeing the prices in dollars or you will see a different shipping rate based on your location, I do know that it's rather cheap because it's being sent to me from a factory in Latvia, which is in the EU. And this is for the 13 inch size. If I wanted to go with a 15 inch size, that would be two euros more for the bag. So not 16 and a half euros, but 18 and a half euros. And one side of it is black. It's only printed on one side. And I was really conflicted what I want to have actually on this bag. Cause you know, it's my laptop bag. And it's kind of an important thing for me, you know, it is my office. And what I did is actually design the whole thing just using the Printful design system. And this is my sleeve. Um, so what I did is basically color the bag in red and then choose from their clip art, from their SVG library, something for a film, for filmmaking, and wrote with Printful text, this is where I make my magic. And I think that this is one of the coolest features of Printful. The fact that you can design so many things just on the product. This was not designed on Canva or on Procreate or on any other software. I made the entire design strictly on Printful and it does look kind of adorable. I like that they have so many combinations with colors 
so many of their own clip art and SVGs, as well as a large variety of fonts. Now, I can't wait to use this one. I haven't actually opened it yet. And it, uh, I feel like it's going to disappoint me. The interior is insane. It's super fluffy and plushy. I feel like this is the interior of my thermal leggings here for the ski winter. The problem is that the zipper somehow feels like it's uh, getting a bit stuck. It's not really flowing, but I do have to say that the interior is a huge, huge surprise, even though I can definitely see some defects here with the zipper. Um, I'm not really sure why this is uh, highly defected. Uh, but I do think that overall it's still a nice bag. I personally will use it, but if I were a client ordering this from a store and getting this product with this defect here, I would have probably complained or returned it or left a bad review. Obviously, you know, these mistakes can happen. And I personally think that maybe, you know, the people who do quality check before taking stuff out to be shipped, maybe they made a bit of a mistake by leaving this part this way. Other than that, this bag is absolutely precious. And I am definitely shocked to see this insane, fluffy interior inside. This is so warm so warm my computer will never be cold again last but not least uh this is the product that i've used the most the most is the all over print backpack for 32 euros and 10 euro shipping and so that's an overall of like what 42 euros for me as the person who's getting it so that's a bit of a high price to pay but I did want a bag with something special on it. If you guys recognize this pattern, it's because it's from the Retro Niche Design Tutorial. I will leave a link to that tutorial down below as well as to the tutorial of the llama. But I do have to say, let me just show you around. Okay, so this bag is like really thin. I didn't expect it to be so thin. The fact is that for most cases, other than carrying my laptop, and carrying, I don't know, my iPad and a notebook, this bag can't really contain much. I had another backpack that was torn here, not a print on a man, just one of my favorite backpacks. I think that's why I wanted my next product to be this, because, you know, I'm making these reviews for you guys, but I'm also, you know, paying for these products and I'm stuck with them. So I might as well order things that I need. So I really needed a backpack. And I do have to say that it's very thin, it doesn't have these, you know, place for bottles, which usually backpacks have. And it does have this inner pocket here with a zipper that is kind of a bummer. Or an, And again, very, very little space to put in anything. It does have a divider to put in a laptop. Now, if I'm looking at the backpack that I was trying to replace by getting this one, that backpack has served me in so many flights and travel journeys because I would basically put in it my laptop, my chargers, my phone, and a spare set of underwear and clothing in case the airline will lose my suitcase or it will be delayed, which happens a lot. <laughs> but for me, if I have this backpack, I will definitely not use it as an onboard flight backpack. But now when we were traveling, for example, when we took the trip to Skopje, it was kind of nice to have this backpack to just have one place just for my tech. So the computer, the iPad, a notebook, the chargers, the Apple Pencil, another tablet that I took with me, some markers to write stuff down, and my documents. So it was nice to have this, even though I was kind of using this to store more things. Um, so it is very narrow. It's not going to fit comfortably. Like if I do put my laptop here and a notebook and an iPad, then it fits kind of nice. But if I will try to get a water bottle here, it's not going to work. There is this compartment here, as I said, and the special thing about this compartment is that you can also design this <laughs> and this is my go. So that was a bit of an adorable touch. And there is also an extra compartment here on the back 
which honestly, I never put anything here because I don't want anything bulging on my spine. But I do think that this might be a really good place to put in passport, for example, if you're traveling. The straps are pretty simple and, you know, pretty straightforward. And it is a really nice bag. However, I really don't think that I would have paid 40 euros for a backpack if I didn't, you know, have a print on demand channel and wanted to design something for print on demand. And I definitely wouldn't pay 50 euros for a backpack if this was on someone else's store and they needed to make profit. So even though I kind of like this bag and I use it, um, maybe a few times a week. I don't think that the price justifies the actual bag. As for my llama, if I known the quality of it, I would have definitely paid like 30 euros for this because I do find that for a tote bag, it's more durable than what I would expect. I really like that canvas feel sort of fabric to it. And I think that the print quality is really, really good. And as for this, I'm going to use it. The product was a bit defected. I don't think it should have left Printful the way that it did. I'm still going to use it because it's kind of cool. And I really do think that this option from Printful to just design everything on their platform is super awesome. By the way, if you like this video, found this content useful and want to see me keep spending money to show you guys the quality of print on demand items, please hit the like button down below because every time you do, it really does help my channel. And subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. We sort of just started this week yesterday with the recipe niche and it's going to be a busy week, at least for me. I don't know what about you guys. So, you know, feel free to comment what you're doing this week in the comment section down below. But I will be seeing you guys tomorrow with a special video that I know that a lot of people have been waiting for, which is all the ways to make money from making patterns. That includes print on demand, that includes selling patterns to other people for different purposes, as well as combining them within digital downloads and so many ideas for making money from patterns. On Thursday, we have Zazzle part three. Friday is another design with me video that I think that most of you are going to need in the next few weeks. And on Saturday, Zazzle part four. And on the week after that, on Monday, just in time for International Creativity Day, I am going to be answering all of your very creative questions. And for that, I started a Google form. You will find a link down below in the description to this Google form. You can go in and submit your questions. This is an anonymous form. You do not have to put your name in there. You don't have to sign up for a newsletter or give me your email. Just ask me any question that you have about print demand, selling digital downloads, or if you have any questions about me, and I will be answering all these questions on Monday, May 30th. There are a lot more videos coming up after that. I do have a lot more product reviews to share with you guys. And I'm super uber excited with more products coming my way because it's not enough that we're swimming in print on demand in this house, including wearing print on demand all the time. I kind of want to have more. <laughs> and I'm drifting off here. Um, to pretty much no point. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this bag review from Printful. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!